Hello once again, Dave Knight here at Knight Capital Management. Thanks for watching. Thanks once again for being here. Today we're going to continue our conversation about our top 10 should ask questions that you should be asking yourself as a trader. And this is question number four. And as I alluded to in last week, I talked about what makes you tick. What makes you tick or more importantly, what is your why? What drives you? What are you passionate about? What makes you the person that you are? Or do you even know that right at this point in time? If you're just driven by money, well, money can, can be a good motivational factor, but it's not enough to sustain you throughout your career. If you're motivated by revenge or by some kind of envy, you think about the seven deadly sins, right? Or the you know, envy and, and the rest of it, jealousy and greed and fear and all of those reasons that we uh, you know that are wrong to have to drive you as far as the, the reason behind why you trade. Um, to me, and I've alluded this before in the other videos, but I think you need to find out why you're doing this. The, the why part of this equation is probably one of the most important, if not the most important question behind why a particular trader is successful or not. Do you have the fortitude to handle the loss, the, the losing streaks as they come by? Are you going to throw your plan out the first sign that it starts failing? Are you going to revamp everything? Hopefully what you do is learn from your mistakes because trust me, trading, you're going to have mistakes. You're going to have times that you're going to question yourself, am I doing the right thing? But you got to use these experiences that you have as learning experiences. I call it going to the school of hard knocks or SOHK as I like to uh, affectionately call it. Most traders that don't get a mentor, get tied up with a mentor somehow, some way, are not trading within three months. A lot of them wipe out their account a lot sooner than that. That's why there's such a high percentage of a loss rate here. 90% of traders that enter into a trading market fail within the first three months. Some of them survive a little bit longer, but nine out of 10, you can start a class with 10 traders tomorrow and, and, and statistically speaking, well, maybe not 10, but let's say that's 100. Statistically speaking, after a three-month period of time, there will only be about 10 of you left. That is, if there was no help outside of just st throw you at the wolves and stick and see who, who sticks, in other words. I like to say, the, what, you know, throw the spaghetti on the wall and see which pieces stick. So... Having a defined why, another way of thinking of this is your definite chief aim. Now in the book called law, uh, The Law of Success by Napoleon Hill, he talks about having a definite chief aim in life and knowing what that definite chief aim, and in other words of thinking about this is a mission statement. What is your mission statement? What makes you tick? Is it your family? Is it God? What about you makes it are you passionate about? You don't have to be passionate about trading, but you need to find something that you're passionate about outside of trading to sustain you why you do the things. Because like I like to say, trading to me is a means to an end. It allows me to do the things in my life that I want to do more of. But a lot of people that get in this business just love it. I mean, they're passionate about trading too. I'm passionate about trading, but I try to moderate that in between three components of my life, right? God, family, then trading. And if I get those out of whack a little bit, if I don't, if I put tra trading in front of God and family in front of God and all the rest of it, then I'm not the best trader that I can be. I'm the best trader that I can be when I put God first, family, then trading. In other words, I, I put others in front of myself. Zig Ziglar said it better than I do. He said that if you help enough other people succeed in life, then you can get everything that you want in life. Now, that's my mission that I want to do with my life and why I do what I do. So uh, I wanted to keep this video really short today. What makes you tick? What makes you tick as a trader? Define that. Your definite chief aim. I would highly recommend a book by Napoleon Hill. 
either either one of these two books are good. The easier, like the Cliff Note version of Law of Success, is Think and Grow Rich. Now, I I have it in my library, uh, but I do not have it with me right now. But most of you have probably have read this book before, or you know of this book. I would highly recommend getting Think and Grow <laughs> Think and Grow Rich, or the Law of Success. Now, Law of Success is a thousand page book. And I don't know too many of us that can get through that kind of, of, of work without having someone to fall back on. But the Think and Grow Rich is the cliff note version of Law of Success. You need to define that definite chief aim in life. Once you have that defined, what makes you tick, then trading will fall in its proper place beyond that. So get with the right people to help you get to where you need to go in life, right? having the right mentor in place, having the right education in place, going from step A to step B, having that defined path along that way so you know exactly which way you're going to be going and how to get to the, the means to the end. So in the long run, what you're doing with trading is supporting the things that you love more than trading. Find that. Find what you love. Stick to it. Get passionate about it. Find your passion. Find your why. Define that definite chief aim, your mission statement, all right? That is how you become successful at trading, being persistent. In other words, I've, I've my new saying right now, discipline will win you the day. Patience will win you the week. Persistence will win you the month. Self-control will win you the year. It will win you the year. But... All of this in a lifetime, self-confidence in your lifetime will win you your trading career over the lifetime. Hope that sticks with you. It's, it's definitely permeate, permeates with me. All right, seven minutes, we're done here. I'm going to let you off early. No 11, 12, 13 minute talk today. This is Dave Knight here at Knight Capital Management. Define your why. Define that definite chief aim. Find the purpose that makes you tick. And then... In my humble opinion, you can start succeeding as a trader. Once again, this is Dave Knight here at Knight Capital Management. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much for being here. We'll see you on our next video on our top 10 should ask questions that you should be asking yourself as a trader. Till next week, we'll see you then. Bye now.